normally I pretend to make some exasperated reaction to our costume, but I can't well. see it past a sword. Oh, I see you've yeah, well, you know, the, the outfit is basically you dark green anyway, so you wouldn't see anything to begin with. I mean, that's an RPG standard, right? Is to is to like hide lack of personality behind a giant sword. So, you know, to entirely obscure the character is is the next step, right? Anyway, hi, hi there, story time. come from the same place. Yeah. It turns out the real monster was man. <laughs> I mean, specifically, it was a man who was trying to be born, but couldn't because this world is now royally fucked up and, you know, details. The wise man spoken said there's absolutely zero difference between humans and monsters, you moron, you imbecile. Oh yes, we went there. Anyway, fuck that, let's go talk to Hope. Hooray, this is my favorite thing about video games, is Hope. We know how much you love Hope, Forklift. Yes. Uh, but first, do you remember this guy? Jesus Christ, do I. That was once a man's Okay, well it's not actually him, because, you know, that would involve bringing back a character. I could have taken absolutely anyone's form, but I took this form for, you know, what I assure you is a very good reason. Well, look, we, we already made the character model, and we used him for all of 30 seconds in one game. After six hours of one dungeon. Why, why couldn't the Speaker of the Dead have been Nora? <laughs> I mean, like, come on, right? I feel like that would that would make that would maybe be a little too bitterly ironic. Yeah, too on the nose for Final Fantasy. <laughs> anyway, remember remember the actual plot of this game? It, it has been a while since we got into our whole genocide diversion. But yeah, you'll be shocked to learn that it turns out that Vanille's soul song isn't quite everything it's expected to be. Anyway, in the meantime, let's go and address the hard problem of consciousness in a video game. That will end well. Is Vanille's soul song sung by Leona Lewis? No, but they probably should be. <laughs> uh, instead, it should be sung by Florence and the Machine. Hmm. Waiting for a new body. I gotta say, for someone who, who sure hasn't seen much of this game, this cutscene is making a great deal of sense. Yeah, the context doesn't really make this make any more sense. It's, there's a... Yeah, you say again, the argument has been made that having the proper contents for it actually makes it makes less sense, and it's one that I'm kind of inclined to agree with. Like, this, this game's plot exists in a very weird zone between a resolution to what's been happening across the mythology of the last two games and just bullshit truisms and tautologies. I see. Because you've gotta you've gotta understand I did manage to to like not blow my brains out on change the future, you change the past. So Yeah. It's not that bad. <laughs> But yeah, so uh, it turns out the Soul Song, rather than saving all of the souls of the dead, will actually obliterate them and make everybody forget they ever existed. It'll save them in a kind of death cult kind of way. Yeah, pretty standard JRPG cult bullshit, really. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm freeing them from from existence. I will, I will save Nova Chrysalia by destroying it. I will become sin. I mean, hang on a minute. I swear, Lightning has said um, that chaos is in all of us four or five times in this one scene. Yeah, chaos. Chaos is kind of the the catch-all plot word 
Yeah, it's it's the it's the it's the drinking word for this game. It's it's at least more memorable than Le Sea or Fal Sea. It, 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 you remember paradoxes in thirteen two? Yeah. Similar deal. You mean Sarah? Are you saying I'll be able to reach her? Speaking of paradoxes, I don't think we've addressed the, our current costume choice yet. Which is, it's Lara Croft. It even has dirt on her because, you know, that was a defining feature in Tomb Raider. Yeah, she's even occasionally just kind of squealing in, like, weirdly erotic pain. Yeah, I would, I would have said they should have made it so that she does random grunts when she gets hit in battle, but she kind of does that anyway. If I wanted to use it, I needed Sarah's help. But Sarah, how can I make you hear me? I reach out with every fiber of my being, but is it enough? Can I do more? Lightning, what the hell are you talking about? If I cry out to you, well, she needs Sarah's help to harness the chaos's power, but she can't find Sarah. In a in a flip reverse of thirteen two. Anyway, let's forget about all that and go wave at a tree. Hold the world aloft. Give me another day. Why? Why do we need another day? I mean, you know, I I know I, it happens that I know the one thing that we haven't done yet, but like, come on. As far as lightning is concerned, she's done. How's life on the surface? We've either saved or murdered absolutely everyone. And we've just learned that saving and murdering are actually the same. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Quake is about as useful as it is in back in, like, 13. I, I've certainly never bothered to make any use of it. I totally forgot that Quake no was even in 13. Same. No, this is it. You can still carry out your mission as the savior, but today is your last chance. Also, yes, um, Hope brings up a thing here. Technically, there is a day 13, but when we start day 13, we will immediately jump to the end of the world. Like, it's not actually a day. It'll mark the end of everything. Day 13 is end game. So yeah, there will there will be no questing in the end game, except the end game quests. But you know, tell me something. You said it will be a return to the line. Return to the chaos, right? If that's true, then that's where Sarah must be. Oh, of, of course. How do we never think to look in the chaos? So okay, here's a question for you that's probably actually been objectively answered. What happened to Noel? But he can do he is the else. boss of Luxarian. But then how can she be yeah, he he um he I got know. told that well, the events person, that were about to happen were going to cause Yule to, Yule to die, to although I don't know why anyone bothered chaos. to tell him that, because but everything causes Yule to die. He could but he took it quite hard and tried to stop this particular thing from happening, so that Yule could die some other way instead. And yeah, then we had to go beat some sense into him. Look. Yule's going to die anyway, you, you moron! You should know it's I'll good, though, at least, that you do get the you chance to beat the you. shit out of Noel, because... Fuck Noel. It's... it's very cathartic. The more I search, the further away I get from finding her. But yeah, so this, uh, this does bring up a bit of a point. So, supposedly, God has Sarah's soul, right? But... Sarah's soul is in the chaos. And God can't see in the chaos. But so how does he have Sarah's soul? To you. Like I'm starting to get the impression that, that God think? might not be entirely on the level. But it's possible. In fact, I mean, Perhaps based on what we saw in Day 10, I'm starting to think that maybe God doesn't have Sarah's soul at all. Other people, but not me. I mean, that, I mean, that would be ridiculous to set us up with a con like that. I think if you're going to keep touting these conspiracy theories, then I will take my leave, sir. If I happen to die before you do, I only go with facts in my let's peas. I'll try to find her in the chaos. And when I do, I'll find some way for you two to be together again. Um, yeah, sure, you, you do that, Hope. It's all, it's, all, it's all on you, Hope. Well, whatever. 
let's go and murder the last thing. But first, let's check out our wardrobe. And, and admittedly, we don't have a whole lot new here. We have, um, this. Yeah, still great. It's a magnet is not a particularly useful spell, but it makes an okay casting garb if you combine it with some of the, like, the, the dot, the Aga spells. Because, you know, magnet draws enemies closer together. And, uh, Tomb Raider's just kind of there. Fatal Sweep is alright. It's nothing, nothing to really write home about. Yeah. Kind of dull, really. Yeah. It's certainly not, it's certainly not a looker, really. But, uh, tomorrow, we are going to go hunting a super boss, and for that, we need to pull out the good shit. And Lord is FF10 Yuna the good shit. And not just because the outfit is surprisingly amenable to color customization. <laughs> Like, seriously, it works really well. You have to see it in context. I look forward to it. But yeah, I believe we have we have espoused the virtues of that Elementor spell previously. Oh well. So yeah, tomorrow we're not exactly going to kill God, but we're going to kill the last remaining thing that has to be killed. <laughs> 